The third edition of the World Food India 2024 program is going to be held between the 19th till the 22nd of September. This will be an event which will witness participation from multiple countries and states. The four-day event aims to garner investment and showcase India as the food bowl of the world. Ahead of the event, DD India's correspondent Dipendu Mondal spoke to Chirag Paswan, Union Minister for Food Processing and Industries, on the expectations and the objective of this year's World Food India. Take a listen. As we near the World Food India 2024, I'm joined by Chirag Paswan, who's also the Minister for Food Processing and Industries. Uh, this is your first time as a minister in the Modi 3.0 government, but your father has been a minister in the same ministry. So I'm sure uh, you are much aware of the workings of this ministry. Firstly, let me ask you, what is expected out of the World Food India 2024? I have had the opportunity to uh, visit the World Food India last year. Uh, what all is expected out of uh, this edition of the World Food India 2024? Well, I think World Food India provides a platform for all the new innovations, all the new technologies, everything that's related to food processing, you know, to come under one roof and uh, to exhibit, you know, their, uh, their innovation, their ideas. And also it gives an opportunity for everybody to collab uh, uh, with each other not only nationwide but also internationally there are many countries participating in it there are many ministries uh, participating in it and uh, needless to say a uh, uh, lot of states of our country you know also come together on the same platform you know with right. their ideas with their innovation with their technology right. and i think uh, that gives everybody a nice opportunity uh, to collaborate with each others and you know to take their ideas back home right uh what are the countries that you're looking at that is expected to come this time around and join any states that are specifically participating? What are the focus areas of this year's uh, World Food Day? Well, yes, many states have uh, already confirmed. Uh, many countries have already confirmed. We have um, uh, partner ministries also in this, partner states also in this. So, yes, I mean, uh, this time it's going to be uh, way bigger than and that is our hope also, you know, that every year it should get bigger and better. Uh, so, yes, I mean, there are many countries, many uh, states and many uh, ministries participating in. But then, yes, this time we have our focused area also. Uh, you know, technology is evolving every uh, every day, actually. Right. So, yes, there are many new technologies which have come. Uh, irradiation being one of it, which has been mentioned this time in right. the budget also by the finance minister. So, yes, irradiation units will be uh, one of the priorities in uh, this time World Food India. Also, plant-based protein is something which we and my ministry is focusing uh, majorly on. Also, it has been our motto that minimum wastage and maximum value addition, uh, that is something that we always uh, uh, make extra efforts on. And also, sustainable packaging is something that me and my ministry is working very seriously on. And we are making sure that the packaging is done in a way which doesn't harm the environment at all. So yes, these are our concerned areas uh, which uh, we'll be focusing this time in World Food India. Right. Uh, Chirag, also this ministry plays a very crucial role in terms of doubling the farmer's income because this is uh, directly linked to the agriculture sector. Uh, what schemes or perhaps what uh, measures are being taken by your ministry to ensure that uh, more and more people come into this sector, there are more startups into this sector and what opportunities is the ministry giving uh, to startups or for investments? So I think this is one ministry which uh, can directly relate to the farmers, you know, and we when we talk about doubling the, the farmer's income and uh, uh, so yes, I mean, this is one min ministry and uh, through the schemes, you know, they are there are various schemes, primarily three schemes, and there are many sub-components under those schemes, you know, uh, through which uh, uh, we provide uh, benefits to uh, to the promoters, to the investors, you know, uh, to the to the beneficiaries uh, of the scheme. So primarily, it, uh, the the three schemes are Pradhan Mantri Kisan Sampada Yojana, you know, which caters to the medium sized entrepreneurs, you know, also we have uh, for the micro enterprises, you know, we have a PM FME scheme, you know, which, uh, uh, which helps uh, even the women's, you know, working in the SAG group, uh, micro enterprises, you know, uh, somebody living in a village, you know, and they want to be an entrepreneur. Right. So, so this is that scheme, you know, which help them. And also then we have uh, PLI schemes, you know, which help bigger brands, you know, right. to penetrate uh, international market and right. uh, to make an effort or uh, impact there. So yes, there are these various schemes, you know, which directly 
impact uh, the stakeholders and uh, in a way contributing uh, to the farmer's income, uh, right. contributing to the revenue of a state mm -hmm. and also providing job opportunities to our youngsters. Right, but Chirag, before I let you go, this is very close to my heart. I'll ask you, food wastage has been a very, very important aspect which have been talked about for many years. There are shortages of, uh, you know, go-downs at many places, storehouses. Uh, but, you know, over the last couple of years, the food wastage has come down. Has reduced, yes. uh, So, what steps are being taken in order to ensure that food wastage do not happen in India? over the next couple of years? So this is our utmost priority. India being an agro-pro country where the majority of the revenue comes from uh, the field of agriculture only. So to make sure that the wastage is minimized, you know, we are making sure to use every uh, such technology uh, uh, which is available nationwide or internationally also. And I think irradiation is one of that, uh, which uh, provides longevity uh, to the perishable items, you know, whether they are vegetables or they are fruits, you know. So this is one technology, definitely, you know, we are using all the traditional uh, uh, measures, whether they are cold uh, storages, they are cold chain. So we are using all those technologies. Also, we are looking forward to developing many new technologies, uh, new innovations are coming up. And, uh, you know, we have some brilliant young brains, you know, who come up with Absolutely. wonderful, you know, startup ideas and stuff. So my ministry is also working and also my institute, NIFTM is also working on that uh, to encourage young and fresh ideas to make sure that eventually, you know, uh, we go to a level where there's zero wastage. That is something which I'm also targeting and my ministry is also working towards. Well, uh, wishing you all the best in that aspect and also for the World Food India. This was Chirag Paswan okay. uh, speaking to Doordarshan Network. Thank you so much and uh, do visit for the World Food India uh, between the 19th to 22nd of September. Thank you.